In this video I'm going to share why it's important to see that keeping weight gain to a minimum at menopause is really important not because we want to meet society's ideal image of what a woman's body should look like but keeping your weight gain to a minimum at menopause is really important to minimize your risk for possible disease and ill health in the future. If you're new here my name is Shirley and I'm a registered nutritional therapist and welcome to my channel where I share nutrition and lifestyle tips to help you live midlife happy healthy and confident. Let's talk about how menopause transition contributes to weight gain. In animal studies where mice had their ovaries removed they found that the mice actually gained weight regardless of what they ate and what happened was their fat cells grew, became inflamed and the mice ended up having fatty liver. Human studies show that perimenopause and menopause does increase weight gain at midlife and not only do women at midlife gain weight the weight also gets distributed around the belly area and the nearer we get to our period stopping the more we tend to gain weight around our belly however this is just for women who are going through natural menopause because women who have underlying issues tend to have a different metabolic pattern which means that their weight gain will be different from those women who are gaining weight because of menopause transition. That being said there are other factors that may contribute to us gaining weight at midlife such as genetics, excessive alcohol intake, smoking, poor food choices, family history, poor sleeping patterns and poor eating patterns so we have to take those into consideration when we are thinking about why we may be putting excess weight in midlife. From personal experience I know that low moods and depression is one of the many symptoms of menopause and sadly for a lot of women low moods and depression can mean that they end up taking antidepressant medication. Now unfortunately some of those medications also affect our metabolism and for those women they end up gaining weight as a result of taking the medication for depression. Another reason that depression and low moods affect women and as a result they gain weight is because they tend to go into something called emotional eating which means that because they're so unhappy about the changes that's going on in their body or how their body is changing because of menopause they tend to eat which then adds on to the weight and again they feel a bit more depressed and so the negative cycle goes of eating and depression and that's one reason why a lot of women may be gaining weight at midlife. It's also predicted that women who are overweight before they go into menopause may actually start perimenopause earlier than those who are within normal weight parameters and the reason for that is because increased fat cells in the body interfere with the pathways of hormone production. Adipose tissue influence enzymes known as aromatase and aromatase affect those pathways of hormone production which means that if you're overweight your estrogen levels may be dropping at a higher rate and as a result you start perimenopause earlier than you may normally have done. For me losing weight is not about conforming to society's view of what I should look like. It's more about minimizing my risks for serious diseases. Before I knew anything about nutrition I thought that weight gain was just storing fat due to excess nutrition or eating the wrong types of food. But I've since learned that adipose tissue is actually an organ and is metabolically active. Adipose tissue release immune chemicals into the body that may increase your risk for disease and illness. If you're getting benefit from this video so far I'd love you to hit the like button so it tells YouTube to share this video to other women who may benefit from the information that I'm sharing here. Also if you want to see more videos from it remember to subscribe so you never miss a video when I post it. So why is it important to keep weight gain at menopause to a minimum? We have to remember that weight gain at menopause or at any time really isn't just about storing excess energy. So adipose tissue is now known to be an endocrine or a hormonal organ 
that provides feedback to our hypothalamus to regulate our energy levels. It does this in several ways. One is to release the hormones that tells our body that we're either hungry and we need to eat more, or we're full and we need to eat less, as well as telling our body to use up more energy. Adipose tissue also plays an important role in regulating our body heat and cooling down system. When it comes to disease and illness, the more adipose tissue we have, the more immune chemicals that we release. And this to me is the important factor as to why we need to keep our menopause weight gain to a minimum. So to explain this further, imagine that you've hurt yourself. When this happens, your body will create heat, you'll feel the pain, you'll have more blood going to the area, and you'll get swelling. This is the body's natural way of protecting yourself. So a person who's overweight will be continuously releasing all these simian chemicals into their body. And that means that their body is always in a state of inflammation. And this is what's known as chronic inflammation. The constant release of immune chemicals begins to create an imbalance in the body. As a result of this constant release of immune chemicals, our cells start changing. And then this creates even more imbalance in the body. And it's these changes at cellular level that may then develop into disease or illness in the long term. And this, for me, is the important factor as to why we need to keep our weight gain to a minimum at perimenopause and beyond. And that's why people who are overweight are at higher risk for developing type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, cancer and other types of illnesses. This information is what kick-started my menopause weight loss journey. And this is why I wanted to share this information with you because I think it's really important that we must see that losing weight gain at menopause is not about the vanity metrics or conforming to society's ideal image of what a woman's body should look like. Minimizing menopause weight loss should be seen as our way of protecting ourselves from possible serious diseases in the future. If you'd like to see the video that kick-started my menopause journey, I'll put a link in the description down below. I'll also put a link to the video where I share what I ate for a week to stop my menopause weight loss journey and what I did to try and avoid feeling hungry and to stop myself from feeling that I'm missing out on foods that I really like to eat. So if you found this video helpful, I'd love you to hit the like button so that YouTube will share it with other women who may find the information helpful. And if you'd like to see more videos from my channel, remember to subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you then.